Well, it's that time, guys. We are ready to set up our dining reservations for Disney upcoming in September. Now, we are making one little change before we do that, and that is we've decided we want to upgrade our dining plan. So, rather than doing the two quick service meals a day and a snack, we're going to upgrade to the one that includes a table service and a quick service every day. Uh, so by doing that, we're just going over to our plans and we're going to change it on these screens. Now, we're doing this partially because when we calculated it out, looking at it, we really only needed to make one or two more reservations on a table service. Um, and that would make it worth it because we had wanted to do some character dinings anyways. So we had already set up the Chef Mickey's reservation and a couple other ones. And we just decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and upgrade and then we can prepay for our food and we don't have to worry about it when we get to the park. So we're going over here, I'm going to go scroll down to change the Disney dining plan and wait for it to load. Scrolling down here, so there you see the two plans and it's going to increase it by about 430-ish dollars. Um, that's going to be for both of us. Charlotte is still included because she is under three. So she doesn't really get her own plates, but she doesn't eat that much anyway. So she'll just eat off of our plates. And let's see here. There is the offer included for the Disney Plus. Before, we weren't having to pay anything for the dining plan extra because we were um, included with our D Disney Plus subscription. But now we're going to pay a little bit extra just to basically upgrade it. We're just paying the difference on the deluxe one. Now, if you do have a deluxe resort booked, you get this dining plan included if you're a Disney Plus subscriber. But because we're doing more of a value resort, um, we're having to pay that extra. And there we go. Now, as you can see, it will be another $447 for us to upgrade to this plan. But that means that when we get there, we won't have to pay for any of our table service reservations. It will already be paid for. Now, like I said, we did already set up a couple of these reservations, um, but a couple we still are working on setting up. So one of the first ones we're going to go in and look at is going to be Woody's Roundup Rodeo. I know this one's been around for a couple years now, but we haven't eaten here yet. So we're going to go in and select our date that we're looking at and check the availability. And let's see what's available in the afternoon. Now, this is one of those restaurants, or the restaurant in the Toy Story area at Hollywood Studios. Um, it's a barbecue restaurant, of course, but they'll occasionally call out that, like, Andy's coming and everybody in the restaurant has to freeze, which is pretty fun. Um, so we're kind of excited about trying to get in here to eat. Oh, and there it is. Let's click it. So we've got 1225, 1240, 1250. Let's see. I think we're looking at going probably around lunchtime. So let's see. Maybe 1250. Let's click that and we're in. We'll make our reservation for three guests. Now we do have to include Charlotte in the guest count even though she doesn't have her own dining plan. Next up we have Space 220. Now we've been wanting to eat here. I know the food hasn't been marked as like the greatest ever but we just really want the experience at least once. So let's go in and see what availability. This one can be a little bit difficult to get into sometimes just because of the experience but it's been around for a couple years now or at least a year or two so it's not quite as difficult to get in as it was that first year they opened. So let's see what's available. Oh, there it is, and we do have some availabilities, so let's see what we've got. 
dinner time. There's a 405. We'll go with that. Um, eating a little bit earlier, we might be able to use one of our snacks later on if we're up to it in the park. So we will set it up for three people. 405 at Space 220. Next up, we're going to look and see the availability for Chef Mickey's. Now, we did eat here before for breakfast, and that's what we were looking at doing again originally, but we decided this time, let's go see how their dinner is. Now, this is where you can meet all the Mickey Mouse characters while you're eating, so they'll all come around to the table, meet and greet, and I think Charlotte will really love that because she loves Mickey Mouse and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So we're going to try to eat here um, dinner pretty much before we actually go into any of the parks, so that first night that we're actually in Orlando. So let's see what the time availability is going to be. There it is. So we've got 5.35, 7.55. I'm worried 5.30 will be a little bit too early and we may not be ready to eat yet just because we are coming in that day. So maybe let's do the 7.55 and that gives us plenty of time to make the reservation and get settled and everything. So if we're going to meet the Mickey Mouse and friends, then what better place to also eat than the Crystal Palace, which is where you can meet Winnie the Pooh and friends. So I believe it's Winnie the Pooh and Tigger for sure, and then certain other um, Winnie the Pooh characters will be roaming around and you get to meet them while you're eating. So we're going to see if we can get to the Crystal Palace here in Magic Kingdom, and we'll see what the availability is. And it looks like there is some breakfast slot. Um, now the availability may not be as open now because these are the restaurants that we're setting up now after the fact. Um, now that we've upgraded our table service um, or our dining plan to the table service one. Now we do have one day that we're going to spend maybe around the resort, at the pool, maybe resort hopping, Disney Springs. We're just going to kind of take a break that day uh, from the park during the day. So... We are going to look at maybe a restaurant in Disney Springs. Um, we're thinking House of Blues. We haven't eaten at that one before, and we've seen good things about the menu, so we're curious. So we're going to see what's available for that one to, uh, for this day. There it is, and it looks like it's pretty open. You've got lots of lunch slots and lots of dinner slots. We're going to probably go around 2 p.m. just because that gives us plenty of time to get get around in the morning and then plenty of time before the evening. That night we're planning on going into Mickey's Not So Scary, so we need a little bit of time to get ready for that. Okay, now coming back over to the dining reservations, let's see what's available. We're going to go over to Epcot. And one of our favorites to eat at in Epcot is the pizza restaurant. Actually, Epcot has a lot of great dining, so it's hard to pick a favorite. But this one's really nice because you get, like, a whole pizza to yourself on the dining plan. So we like eating here. Um, let's see what's available. And here it is, the Via Napoli. So we are looking at maybe like a late lunch, early dinner here. Oh, probably about 3.45 would be a good time. So we'll pick that. So Friday at 3.45. And I do believe this is going to be the last reservation that we're needing to set up. So basically, when we get to Orlando on Sunday, we're going to be eating dinner at Chef Mickey's. The next day, we're going to be hanging around Magic Kingdom at Epcot and eating dinner around 4 o'clock at Space 220. Um, Tuesday is going to be lunch at the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Wednesday, we're going to try out the Crystal Palace breakfast. Um, Thursday, House of Blues, and then, of course, this doesn't account for our quick services and our snacks, so we'll definitely be eating a lot of 
those during Mickey's Not So Scary and Every Day, really. So we'll show you guys what we get once we get to the parks, but we'll play the quick services and the snacks by ear, depending on what we're wanting to get while we're in the parks. That's the nice thing about having that. It's a little bit more flexible. We're super excited about our reservations, and we'll keep you guys updated. If you don't want to miss any of our updates, make sure to hit that notification bell, like and subscribe, and catch us next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.